So today we're going to look at spirometry and this is an area that people have struggled with in several past exams. So first of all, let's start as ever with the question. Have a look at this question. Right, so it's a really difficult question. The correct answer is E. We're looking for the FEV1 uh, FVC ratio to be less than 0.7 to give an obstructive picture. And then what we're looking for is for stage one that the FEV1 is actually in the normal range, which is over 80%. And in this case, what the question was asking was about stage two moderate. So that's where it's between 50 and 80%. Okay, so um, to recap, these are the stages based on FEV 1%. So let's just look at some of these other definitions. So FVC is forced vital capacity. It's the maximum air that can be breathed out in forced expiration. FEV 1 is the forced expiratory volume in one second. So how much air can be breathed out in forced expiration in the first second? And the ratio of these two is what we look at to look at whether it's a restrictive picture so that's where it's uh, sort of above 0.7 or an obstructive picture less than 0.7. Okay, so the FEV1, FVC ratio, and then the FEV1 as a percentage of expected are the two things we're looking at. Okay, so COPD is a really important uh, condition, so a common condition relatively in general practice, and it's been highlighted a few times. It's one of the areas that people struggled with alongside other respiratory illnesses specifically childhood asthma. So that's another topic that'd be important to revise, especially because the guidelines changed in 2016. So I hope that's been useful and do join us again for the, the next part of the AKT chat.